Hi, this is John Wilson again at MDS. In this video, we're going to create ourselves a stepped high pod test. So in order to do that, we'll start with the mega ohm test that we've already done. And I'll right mouse button click on it and make a copy of it. And then put it right back in. And this second copy, we're going to edit and turn it into a stepped high pod. So to edit, I can double click or I can right mouse button click and select edit. So let's change the name to a stepped high pot test. And I'll say we're gonna go to 2000 volts. Same test leads as we had configured for the mega ohm test as before. We will start at 500 volts. We'll turn on the uh, step voltage test feature here. We'll go to 2,000 volts, and each step we'll do in 500 volt steps. And for the final test time, normally we would put 60 seconds so that we get a fully compliant IEEE 95 HIPOT test, or we can just back this thing off to say uh, 20 seconds for our little uh, demonstration today. And I'm also gonna change this uh, test time to say 10 seconds just so it doesn't take so long to run through this thing. Okay, so we're going to ramp up for five seconds, hold uh, in the course current range for seven seconds, and we'll test for 10 seconds, and we'll go up in 500 volt steps. The last step we will hold for 20 seconds. And that should be all we've got to do. The other thing we can do is, since we're doing a high pot test at this point, we can change the pass-fail criteria or the evaluation method to look at current. Let's do that. And we'll say OK. And let's save the results. And we will run just this step. So there we go. Current is the red trace. Voltage is the blue trace. You can see in the very first part here, we ramped up. Current was a little high as we were charging the ground wall capacitance of the stator. We'll hold for about 10 seconds here, ramp up, hold for another 10 seconds, ramp up, and then finally we will hold for, uh, uh, what was it, 20 seconds? So this is a classic step test. Now, of course, we could program this with any number of steps we like. We just put in a smaller voltage step size, like 100 volts or 200 volts, whatever your organization wants to use. Again, this double arrow key thing here in the left-hand corner, if we uh, press that, we actually get values that it's reading. The stator that we're testing right now is a very small one, and as you can see, the leakage currents are very small, very low. Again, the scale on the right-hand side is a logarithmic scale, so it's a little bit different than you're used to looking at. But there we go. We've done ourselves a stepped high pot test.